Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of my vlog, whatever this constitutes as. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. I want to give you guys a special look at the whole Bride of Kukui outfit because it is all entirely handmade. Most of it by me. A few things my mom made, and I will show you... I will show you that as I go through each piece. I want to start with the leg armor because this was the very first part of the costume that I made. And let's see if I can give you guys you can't you can't quite see the cardboardiness of the construction, but it did start out as just a cardboard box that I taped together. I taped together refried bean boxes actually to make the leg armor and then it was all built up with Paper mache, which you can kind of see, got some math textbooks put to good use for the paper mache. There's also paper clay. That's how I made the skull shape and the teeth, and then the little rivets, which I actually could have taken actual rivets and embedded them into the armor. I didn't realize I actually had any though, but. The paper clay works perfectly fine, so that's all good. And this is a, just a little bit of cardboard construction with paper mache on top, and it's very thick. I have a lot of layers of paper mache to try to make it as strong as possible. And so, if you are familiar with El Kukui's armor, there's the main leg part, and then there's a little part over his knee. And I believe his armor actually, it's one whole piece that hinges, I think, based off of how it looks. And for me, it was a lot easier just to make it as two separate pieces that I wear overlapping. So this is what I would put on first and kind of overlap it like that. And I do have noted whether it's the left or right side of the leg armor because it does actually matter. They actually do fit on one specific leg over the other and they attach a lot better. So just have that noted there. You can kind of see my tape is coming up a bit. I'm not sure I remember how many concerts these have survived. The only concert I did not wear them to was the very first Metalachi concert I ever went to. I debuted these at the second ever Metalachi concert I went to, and it wasn't until concert four that, like, the whole ensemble happened. But onward on to discussion of the whole ensemble. I also, I forgot to mention, I did change my painting a little bit. That tooth has always been gold, but you'll see that there is a little bit of... Well, I was hoping to make it look a little bit more rusted. I got the idea when I was painting a Urukai sword that I made out of paper mache. I did a different method for how I painted the metal and it looked a lot more realistic because I added more color in than just plain grayscale. So I wanted to go back and add a little bit of just grit and rust onto my painting. And I did that on the rest of the armor. And you will see that. So here are the shoulder pads. And you can see that this is all built off of some football padding. And let me show you how that's all attached. There's just a pair of screws that are going through the padding into the shoulder pads. And the padding, as you can tell, it was white, so I actually spray painted it black. And then, let me show what's going on with the actual armor part. So this kind of taco-esque shape we have going on here, this was made out of a kind of bendy piece of cardboard that I I bent into place, kind of held it in place with some tape, added more cardboard on top of that, and started adding paper mache layers to get it more solidified so it would really hold that taco shape. 
I, I'm actually not sure how I started out with this little part here. There is a little bit of an armor mistake, actually, discussing these. You'll notice how the skeleton hand is facing with the thumb towards the back of the armor. This is the back part, and this is the front. You can see that I have a whole part cut out. It's not supposed to face that direction. Actually, on Kukui's armor, it faces the other way. And the reason it does that on mine is because I cut the wrong side out. That was supposed to be the back. But literally nobody's ever going to notice that until I pointed it out just now. But that's the one thing that I messed up on that kind of bugged me. But again, nobody, nobody's going to notice that. But this was also built up with paper clay and that little lip there. These were, these are all pieces of cardboard that were taped on. I just made a little pyramid shape, taped it on, got some layers of paper mache. And for a while, all my spikes were intact. But recently, when I did the rusty repaint, I did create some artificial damage. So you can see right here, I've clipped a tip off. You can see a little bit more dramatically on the other side. I've got some parts clipped off. And I think, I can't tell where I did some scratches. I added some scratches in. I might add a little bit more, but it already looks out oh, pretty rough because you can see some places where the paper mache cracked a little, but I don't know. I'm just happy with how it turned out, even if it is a little rough in some spots. And it's so dark at <laughs> those concerts, nobody notices. It it just looks freaking cool. The only reason I think any part of this is janky is because I know how I made this. I know how much cardboard and math textbooks went into creating this. <laughs> Everybody else who sees it is like, oh my god, I can't believe that's paper mache. So that mission accomplished right there. All right, so moving on past our shoulder pads and relating to the fact that this part is cut out, we have the boob armor, the most important part, you might say. So this is also kind of the jankiest part of the armor. This was one of those things where I wasn't quite sure how I was going to go about it. These skull guys right here are the little half spheres of floral foam that you can get at Michael's or any craft store. And I just carved into that and had a paper mache layer, which was a little tricky because the floral foam doesn't take paper mache super well. Also, let's see if I can actually show you. It's a little bit hollow. I'm trying to not pull this away from the bra too much because that's actually how these got damaged at some point. These are the one part of the armor that has had to have some kind of repairs done so far. So just a little paper mache on the floral foam and I wanted them to be a little different from each other so add some random metal stuff in the garage, gave this one braces, he's got his head reattached somehow with a metal plate and then I wanted to carry on the gold tooth. I think so Kukui's armor has the gold tooth on the leg parts. I think, unless I'm misremembering, unless I am misremembering how his armor looks, which seems unlikely, I think maybe his chest armor has a little gold tooth there. Or I just carried it over from the leg armor. Because I didn't quite want it to be exactly how his armor looked. Obviously the leg armor is based off of his, but I wanted to go, and of course the shoulder pads. I definitely was trying to copy his armor, but for the rest of it, I wanted to do my own thing. So, boob armor, and it's just, let me show you, actually you can kind of see how it's hollowed out right there. It is just screwed into a old bra I had that I didn't feel bad about sacrificing. It's one of those ones where the cup kind of gets all smushed up and not super great. So it was perfect for making the boob armor. And so what happened actually 
is because the screws they're just embedded into floral foam and so it's not like when you've got a screw in wood and it's more secure the foam kind of gets messed up and it can actually pull out really easily so that did happen in both of these places and I had to re-secure them get some crazy glue to secure everything but I think they're okay now I just got to be careful with those and so for the like the two parts that were not made by me but made by my mom were the gloves this is just some fabric we got at Joann's that we weren't sure what we were gonna do with it but my mom thought this looked cool and wanted to do something with it so that is where the arm the thing fingerless gloves idea came from and then so the shorts as you can see gloriously prominent is the cod piece I should I should discuss the cod piece because I was I should discuss the cod piece first because this is something I was having a hard time coming up with how I was gonna make it I knew I I didn't want to copy Kukui's cod piece because his is more blocky and masculine and an extension of his manhood I suppose so the the lady cod piece needed to be more feminine and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for that but I knew that as soon as I found whatever object I was gonna make it out of as soon as I found the right object I'd know so I was just digging through my dad's computer parts and lo and behold there is this I'm gonna turn it upside down to make it more obvious. There is a mouse cover. And it was just absolutely perfect for like the, I mean the shape, it's perfect. We've got the slot, everything. It's just, it spoke to me. That was the cod piece. And so that, that's all cardboard. And it was actually paper mache on a little bit. There is some tape there and then these, metal parts here those are super glued on as are the little spikes which these are spikes that screw there's like that base there and you can see how it works because i'm actually mix, missing a spike the spike just screws onto the base and i did have to go through and super glue those ones on because that one's missing but i don't know i kind of like that there's just one that isn't perfect so there is the glorious glorious cod piece and the question was, how was I going to make it wearable? Like, do I acquire a jock strap and put this on a jock strap? But my mom actually had the idea that she was going to make me a pair of shorts, a lot like the band wears, using the same kind of color as the rest of the Kukui outfit. And she was going to, you can see like the, mariachi pants style detailing on the sides and she was gonna sew the cod piece on so this is connected to the shorts you can see there's some straps here and there's actually some padding behind the cod piece so I'm not just poking myself in the lady parts with a uh, with a mouse pad so there is a little bit of padding there so it, it's a little awkward to walk in there's I'm not used to having so much between my legs being a lady but I think the overall result is very awesome and I think that was absolutely the perfect solution to the problem so yeah that is that is the entirety of the costume as as the um in terms of what's actually handmade because there's a few little accessories added on but those aren't nearly as cool because they were not handmade out of for for the most part made out of cardboard because pretty much everything i i didn't have to buy very much in order to make the costume it's pretty much all just cardboard paper mache off of old textbooks. I did have to buy some Velcro and elastic, but 
really that wasn't much. Most of it is just really extreme recycling. So that is, let me scoot this back so you can get a full shot of everything. That is the Bride of Kakui armor.